Yo, yeah, what's up, guys? It's Curse Pipe. My friends call me Big C. I'm back again, guys, and today I'm doing my team video, my intro video. Guys, I've been making videos now for Freedom for the last five days, I think, and uh, I realized that I haven't really given you guys a heads up as to who I am, a little bit about my backstory, how I got involved in Freedom, and, uh, you know, what I do here. So, without any further ado, let's get right into this, and let's start with what does Big C do at Freedom? All right, guys, so in terms of what I do here, I've been speaking with George personally, and he has asked me to create a daily video series that helps bring our current and future YouTube partners, uh, Freedom Partners, basically tips, te uh, techniques, strategies, uh, ideas as to how to improve your channel, uh, technical stuff, uh, partner shout-outs, spotlights, pretty much anything that I can do to help you guys grow and become better YouTubers. That's what I'm here for. Nice and simple. All right, guys, so yeah, that's what I've been brought in for, but, you know, you're probably thinking, great, but, you know, what kind of experience do I have? How can I help you? So let me tell you a bit about me. Uh, first things first, I am a professional videographer and video editor. That is my trade. That's how I make my money. <laughs> so I do that uh, professionally, and I repeat myself. But uh, more importantly, guys, I've had tons of experience on YouTube making videos myself, working at TGN, where George used to, me and I used to, him and I used to work together. Um, personally, I've made over three or four hundred videos for YouTube, and I've got eleven or twelve million views, um, which is a pretty good number. Um, I've got a couple of views in the six hundred thousand mark. I think I did a Rift video that got six hundred fifty thousand views or something crazy like that. Um, so I've had lots of experience doing that. Um, at in my past life, when I worked with George, yeah, I was his right hand man. What can I say? I was a co-founder. In fact, I was there the day business opened. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you a bit of a story. George called me up one day and he's like, George, no, let me tell you. No, George called me up, but he didn't call me from home. He called me because he was at the U.S. border and he was coming back to Canada. And I'm like, hey, George, how's it going? He's like, oh, yeah, I'm doing great. I, uh, I just quit my job at Microsoft. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm a champ. Um, I quit my job at Microsoft and I was wondering, you know, do you want to, you know, start a company together? And I'm like, uh-huh. And he's like, yeah, we'll get a place together. You know, you, me, and uh, my girlfriend, who he's now married to, and is very nice, and they've got three beautiful daughters, but I digress. Um, you, we'll just get a place together, and we'll just start a company. And I'm like, okay, George, let's do it. And that's how we got the ball rolling. We started off with wikis, and then we eventually moved into YouTube. And in YouTube, we had tons of success. We had four or five billion views a year at our past company. Um, I know I've got, like I said, I've got 11 or 12 million views, and George has got tons too. And uh, yeah, you know, recruiting people, uh, coaching people, all those things I was involved in, and I loved it. And I am extremely happy to be back at Freedom. All right, so I've, uh, in terms of the experience, it's great. But I, and like I said, I've known George, and we work together, and that is a big reason why I joined Freedom. But I've also been George's friend for 25 years. Um, in Canada, that's the equivalent of a life sentence. That's how long I've known him. <laughs> um, I met George when I was 12 and a half years old. I was friends with his brother, Mirko, and uh, we were in guitar class together, me and his brother. And one day we decided to go to his house, uh, Mirko's house, and play some guitar. And because we play guitar, we play Stairway to Heaven, because that's what you do, right? And I was like, you know, pretty good at it. So I'm playing guitar, and all of a sudden I hear a big, loud three bangs coming down the stairs. And I'm like, wow, Mirko, did a baby fall down the stairs or was that a giant what was that anyways split second later this tall slim kid comes running into the room which makes sense if he was a cat but he's not George runs into the room and he's like oh hey how's it going I'm George and this dude's smiling creepy smiling and I'm like man he's either the happiest dude in the planet or he's a serial killer I don't know which one I haven't talked to him much yet but this guy's he's, he's kind of weird um, and uh, anyways I introduce myself and I'm checking you know I'm like okay cool and I look at him, and the dude's got on a white badminton shirt, a Microsoft badminton shirt, which makes sense. He's got on lime green shorts. Not just lime green. They were neon lime green shorts. And he had on black socks. And his black socks were up through his knees. It was weird. I'm like, wow, man, dude knows how to dress. What's up? Anyways, I start talking to George. I look around his room. I notice he's got four computers. Now, I was a kid. I had one computer. He had four and he had parts for others man he had computer stuff everywhere it was amazing and i started chatting with him I'm like well george do you you know you're obviously into computers do you play any video games and then he said the best thing i've ever heard a person say in his whole life oh i play video games but my favorite is might and magic 2. 
bromance. That's all I'm going to say. That was an immediate bromance. Might and Magic 2 was my favorite game growing up out of everything. Nothing even came close to that game. I love that stuff. I even play it today through a browser thing. But I love that game. This is the only guy that I've ever known that's even played the game, let alone made it his favorite. So if we weren't tight then, we were tight now, man. That was huge to me. So anyways, that's how I met him. He was awesome. I asked George, hey George, I played Mike Magic 2, but I don't know how to save my game. And that's when he taught me the next thing in my life. He taught me what a hard drive was. Because apparently my computer with my four color CGA monitor didn't have a hard drive. And those hard little blue discs that I was trying to save my game on didn't work. <laughs> so anyways, George taught me about a hard drive. And uh, yeah, what can I say? Um, I've known him for those 25 years. Uh, ever, after that, you know, we sort of went our own ways. And then, you know, we'd always hang out sometimes and do things like play video games. He taught me about Warcraft 2. We would have Warcraft 2 party. Party! He'd pick ogres. I'd pick humans. He would kick my ass all over the place because Bloodlust was more OP than Heal. And eventually I learned that. Uh, but we would play Warcraft 2. Um, we ended up doing a lot of things like going to Boston Pizza for dinner a lot for like $7.99 or $6.99. You can get an individual pizza. And then we bring our Scrabble board in. We played Scrabble because we were nerds, represent. And uh, yeah, we played Scrabble. We did a lot of really fun things together. And Scrabble actually was, we would actually compete with each other. Each one of us, we wouldn't compete on score. Like it's important to win, don't get me wrong. We're competitive, but it was more important to create seven letter words. And uh, anyways, we would challenge each other to do that. And then one day he created diatribe. Yeah, that's a seven letter word with an E on the end. And diatribe, for those of you that don't know what that means, it means it's a fulminating piece of infection, like what I'm doing here. Anyways. We had tons of fun growing up, guys, and, uh, and that brings me to my last point. For those of you that are with Freedom or are thinking about joining Freedom, uh, you know, like I said, I've known him like for so many years, and uh, you really should give it a shot. The guy isn't as nice and happy and go-lucky as you see on his videos. He's actually much better than that. He, he's like that in person. He's a really amazing guy, and uh, uh, I've known him for, for all those years, and I can't say enough good things about him and how happy I am to be working with him, be working at Freedom with all the people that he's recruited. And uh, if, you, if you're thinking about joining guys, you really should. And this isn't a recruitment video, but he's a great guy and they got a great team here. And this is Big C, and that's a little bit about me. Check it out.